Are you searching for the ultimate scalping trading strategy that can skyrocket your profits? Well, look no further in this video. We're revealing the jaw-dropping power of Lux Algo, the most accurate and profitable tool you need in your trading arsenal. You'll be amazed at how this strategy can turn your trading game around. We'll walk you through every step so you can you too can reap the incredible benefits of Lux Algo. Don't miss out on these industry secrets that top traders are using to generate massive profits. So buckle up and stay tuned till the end because this might just be the game changer you've been waiting for. Also, in order to help you make even better trading decisions moving forward, I'll also introduce you to the bulls versus bears indicator and how you might be able to use it in order to identify market conditions. Let's get started by diving right in and taking a look at what's available. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. On TradingView, we will search for the supply and demand visible range indicator developed by Lux Algo. With a strong reputation in the trading community and over 50,000 traders worldwide relying on Lux Algo indicators, this indicator offers valuable insights for traders of all levels. The supply and demand visible range indicator is designed to provide traders with a clear visual representation of key areas and levels on their charts. By employing a unique volume based met methodology, this indicator leverages intra-bar data to pinpoint precise supply and demand zones with remarkable accuracy. Supply and demand zones are price levels where a significant amount of buying or selling activity has occurred in the past, resulting in a temporary imbalance between supply from the sellers and demand from the buyers. These zones are considered areas of potential price reversals or strong continuation moves. The supply and demand range indicator simplifies the process of locating these crucial support and resistance levels but also keeps traders to better understand the overall market sentiment. Let's take a look at an example. When the price action reaches a supply area, which the indicator has marked in blue, we need to wait for it to be tested multiple times. This price action close to the supply area may suggest an impending downward reversal. On the chart, we have Tesla on a 15 minute time frame. We've found the strategy to work best on the lower time frames. However, it is always best to test the strategy against the instrument that you like to trade, right? And also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And while you're at it, just hit that like button on this video too. <laughs> You'll notice that we have had multiple touches on the supply zone and now price is again entering the area and creating a potential double top. Once we have confirmed bearish volume, we can enter our short trade with a stop loss above the blue zone and aim for a one to two risk to reward. Meaning for every 1% of the account that you risk, you should aim to make a 2% return. Conversely, when the price action reaches a tested demand area, it may indicate a potential upward reversal. Let's take a look at an example. On the chart, we've got the AUD USD on a five minute time frame. Again, we're going to look at the price action when approaching these zones and look for signs of a potential bullish reversal move. You can see the double bottom formation away from the zone showing us that there is potential for a reversal. Also, the width of each area can indicate the level of liquidity, with thinner areas representing more significant liquidity. After the close of the candle, you can enter our, we can enter our buy trade with a stop loss below the zone and aim for a one to two risk to reward. Although this indicator is known for its high accuracy, it's crucial to avoid relying solely on its zones. In the world of trading, it's always wise to have a diverse set of indicators and tools at your disposal. This way we can confirm our analysis and make more informed decisions. So the next stop for our charts is we're going to add an awesome buy sell indicator that can work hand in hand with our existing strategy, taking it to the next level. By incorporating multiple indicators and cross-checking their signals, we can significantly enhance our accuracy and reduce the chances of false or misleading signals. Remember, diversifying our analysis toolkit is key to staying ahead in the trading game. But before we get into that, I want to ask you guys for a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video so far, could you please drop it a like and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification too so you never miss out on my future videos. Under the indicators tab for trading view, we are going to search for the following indicator, which is the trend trader buy sell signal by unknown unicorn. As always, feel free to test out the indicator for yourself. All right, for the stuff that you guys like to trade, like crypto, forex, stocks, whatever it is. 
like all other indicators, make sure to do some back testing as well. The trend trader buy sell indicator signal, buy sell signals indicator is a powerful tool designed to assist traders in identifying the overall trend in the market and generating buy and sell signals. The indicator combines two popular technical indicators, the moving average convergence divergence or MACD and the average directional index or ADX to provide reliable signals for entering and exiting trades. Firstly, the MACD is a trend following momentum indicator that calculates the relationship between two moving averages of an asset's price. It consists of a MACD line, a signal line, and a histogram. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it generates a bullish signal, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Conversely, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it generates a bearish signal, suggesting a potential selling opportunity. The ADX is a trend strength indicator that measures the strength of the prevailing trend. It ranges between zero and 100. A reading below 200 suggests a weak or non-existing trend, while a reading above 50 indicates a strong trend. The ADX line itself does not guarantee buy or sell signals, but providing insights into the strength of the trend. The trend trader indicator incorporates the signals generated by the MACD and ADX indicators and presents them in an easy to understand manner. It uses colored bars to represent the overall trend and generates buy and sell signals based on the intersection of the MACD and signal lines. In addition to the MACD and ADX signals, the indicator also considers the position of the price in relation to the 50 day moving average, the MA. It changes the color of the bars based on whether the price is above or below the 50 day MA. This visual clue helps traders identify the current market and the price trends quickly. Furthermore, the trend trader indicator features a moving average ribbon, which combines the 50 day and 100 day moving averages. This ribbon acts as dynamic support and resistance levels, providing additional guidance for traders. The trend trader buy sell signals indicator provides traders with comprehensive views of the market trend and generates timely signals to assist us in making informed trading decisions. Under the inputs tab, we are going to leave everything on default. However, under the styles tab of the indicator, we are going to make one small adjustment. I'm going to unselect the plot background option and leave the rest of the style options on default. Next, we are going to add our third indicator to the chart. This in incredible indicator is designed to help you gauge the relative strength of bulls and bears in the market. It calculates the difference between the high and the moving average for bulls, as well as difference between the moving average and the low for bears. To make the values more meaningful, the indicator then normalizes them between minus 100 and 100 using the highest and lowest values of the last bars back period. This allows you to compare the current strength of bulls and bears to their historical strength, which is pretty cool. Now let's talk about the output. The indicator generates a neat colored column chart that represents the difference between the normalized bulls and bears values. When the chart is mostly green, it indicates that the, bear, the bulls are currently stronger than the bears. Conversely, if it's mostly red, it means that the bears have the upper hand. This visual representation gives you a quick and clear understanding of the market sentiment. But wait, there's more. The indicator goes the extra mile by providing you with bullish and bearish signals. These signals occur when the normalized bulls cross above, the bill, above or below the user defined line height value. They serve as an additional indicators to help you make informed trading decisions. In a nutshell, this indicator is a fantastic tool for identifying potential trend changes in the market and confirming existing trends. Okay, now that we have all the ne necessary indicators set up, let's dive into the specific rules for entering long and short trades. However, before moving forward, if you haven't already, make sure you drop this video a like and also subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's begin with a sell trade and the exact rules for entry. On the chart, we've got the USD JPY on a five minute time frame. Additionally to what we've already discussed for the sell trade, we now also need to wait for the sell signal for the trend, in the trend trader indicator. First rule is that the trend trader indicator needs to currently be showing a sell signal. Next, we need to wait for the bulls versus bears indicator to go below the middle band and show red bars, which indicate bearish momentum. If all these conditions are met, we can place a sell order at the close of the candle. For this sell trade example, I'm going to place my stop loss above the blue zone and aim for a one to two risk to reward. 
For this example, I'll set my stop loss at 14 pips and my take profit will be 28 pips, giving us a 1 to 2 risk to reward. You'll notice that by adding these two indicators to our scalping strategy as an additional confirmation, we are further able to increase this highly effective strategy. The principle behind the strategy is using multiple confirmations to enter a potential reversal. Now let's take a look at another example. For a seller short position, wait for the price to reach the supply zone and look for a sell signal along with the bearish candle close. Reversal candlestick patterns are helpful in these areas too. When the bull's bears indicator turns red, it's an indication to open a sell position. Set your stop loss above the blue box and adjust your take profit accordingly, aiming again for a risk to reward ratio of one to two. Moving on to the rules for entering a buy position. When the price reaches the demand zone, wait for the buy signal along with the bullish candle close. Reversal candlestick patterns can further enhance your decision making in these areas. Additionally, you should wait for the bull's bears indicator bars to turn green before opening a buy position. Set your stop loss below the orange box and adjust your take profit accordingly, aiming to, for a risk to reward of one to two. The strategy and trading view indicators in this video are completely free to use, but if you're looking for an amazing premium indicator, I personally use Lux Algo Premium for my trading and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants more success in the market. I've got a link to it in the description below, so make sure you check it out. If you want to see the trades that I'm actually making, like this one I recently posted that got a 141% return, check out my free Telegram channel and join my all-access Patreon. Links to those are in the description below as well. And if you want to become a better trader, make sure to check out my next video. I'll see you on the next one.